to my channel so today I am going to finally get to the book of jewels by Laura Geller um, I showed this to you guys a while ago back in a haul and so you are just gonna watch me get ready um, <laughs> don't mind the hair I'm just I'm kind of like you know getting over the fact that I have to do my roots really bad and I still haven't decided what I want to do with it so um, anyways it's up it's there it's just in the back so let's go ahead and get started so I'm gonna use the book of jewels the one that has the ambers it looks like this so it has just a few like pinks and golds and browns and stuff so we're gonna use a few of those today and just kind of do um, a more like simple natural look and today I am going to be using the Dior Skin Star. Um, I've had this for a little bit. I haven't got to use it yet. Um, I do have a few blemishes. I'm sorry. Just look beyond that. And then we will see how this um, works out. So I have the um, 02 for the Dior Skin Star. This looks... I don't know I can't explain how it looks it kind of almost looks too dark I can't tell and then I'm also going to be using the new uh, Marc Jacobs the face number one brush that I have I have not got to use this yet so this will kind of be a first impressions for the Dior Skin Star as well as the Marc Jacobs face brush for me and the Laura Geller stuff and I think that's all the new stuff <laughs> um, so I am going to put this on my dab it on my face first I was told this is my color I'm not positive um we'll have to see how it works out I mean it looks it looks like it'll be okay but you know you just never know until you get it on your skin I just try really hard to not not pay attention until it's on and it's set and then we'll we'll see so I am just going to blend it out with this and kind of push it in the same time um, I did not use a primer. We'll see how it does without a primer. Um, usually with, whew, it has a very fragrant smell, um, a very perfumey smell. Usually with all of my stuff, um, I usually do use a primer, but I like to kind of test out the product first and see um, you know how it works and then I kind of know like what kind of primer I want to use does that make sense like you know certain primers are like more silicone certain ones are like a little bit more um, I don't know I just I just like to see how it performs first so yeah this is very um, very nice smelling I like that I don't know if I've ever really smelt my foundations. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm just crazy and I have and I'm just not noticing. Um, so I love the way that this goes on though. It goes on very nice. Um, like I said, this is a new brush to me too. So I've never worked with this brush. It's, um, definitely, it's not hugely, um, like packed together but it's definitely packed enough to where you know I think it looks like there's a pretty good full coverage or I mean pretty good coverage um this isn't full on me as of yet but you know like I said I'm having a lot of skin issues right now so I might not be the perfect skin type right now to be testing this out Okay, so I'm going to chat a little bit with you about what's been going on. Um, as you know, I kind of like stepped off the screen a little bit and took a little family break. So one night when um, my husband has a second job and um, pretty much I do it. It's like a, it's like stupid easy kind of job. You basically are home, but a couple times a week we watch a time clock thing and you know every now and then you got to call and see where people are and why they're late so on and so forth but for the most part you know you're just watching a time clock and making sure everybody clocks in so super easy laid-back job and of course you know I'm not doing anything so I'm not gonna make him technically do the second job does that make sense so um, I was technically doing it 
really like that foundation like really really so far so good okay really like the brush too um so you know he's not really doing it doing it but he's there with me and you know if the people call or something of course he's the one who answers they don't know that you know technically I'm doing it so um and I also am using the new uh L'Oreal Paris brow, brow stylist designer in blonde I'm actually really enjoying this um, brow pencil right now so um, I'll keep you guys updated on that um, but anyways so Friday night comes and I'm like sitting down ready to film the it cosmetics thing and I'm already got like the CC cream on <laughs> and then um, it was like, you know, five o'clock and we're waiting for the schedule. And usually the lady is very late with the schedule. She's just, well, I don't want to bad mouth people, but she's not, she's not the sharpest tool in the shed, if you know what I mean. So she's been late before. And then, so, you know, we're just kind of waiting and waiting. And then like, it gets to like five eleven. I'm like, okay, she still hasn't set the schedule and let me just, you know, go ahead and text her. So, um, I texted her from the work phone that, you know, they gave my husband to do the job and, um, she never texted back. And then, so it was like 515, I think. And then, um, so my husband's like, well, go ahead and, um, call or text this other guy that he works with actually at his job job who got him this job. Um, I'm just going to use the Bye Bye Concealer under my eyes. So I texted him and he said, oh, you know, I'm sorry, um, you know, uh, I don't, I don't, um, sorry about the misunderstanding. I thought you understood that, you know, he didn't need you anymore. And like instantly my heart sinks in my chest. So I am not working right now. Well, I'll catch up with that. But basically I, I wasn't working. My husband was working and I was, you know, keeping up with the kids and doing the house stuff and um working on YouTube you know like that was my new goal and slash hobby and you know kind of like you know wanted to make it my job okay my headband is not staying for some reason so we are going to 86 the headband sorry guys okay so on with my story <laughs> Um, so, you know, um, I do all like, you know, the home stuff and, you know, making sure the kids are, you know, off to school and all that kind of good stuff. And, um, and I had always been working usually, you know, like I've stayed home with my kids the first year of their lives. And then like, um, I would usually like work nights or something. So my husband or my mother-in-law or somebody is with them. I've never put them in, um, daycare. And anyway, so, you know, I wasn't working right now, so his income is huge for us. You know, we need that. Um, it's, you know, a huge enough amount of money that you can't just all of a sudden be without it. So um, I'm going to set that with the HD um, uh, lighting powder by Elf. Sorry. Brain fart. Um, so... So, um, ha, losing train of thought. So my, so my husband, um, I went downstairs, I stopped filming. I was like, oh my gosh, what's going on? What did he tell you? Like, what did you not understand? And then, you know, come to find out basically without going into all the details that you guys don't really care about. Um, basically they had offered him, you know, to get more hours. So that's what he thought he was talking about is that, you know, they didn't need him for the more hours, you know, nothing to do with the normal job that he did. So, um, so come to find out basically they needed a full-time person in their, uh, business office because even the lady like that gave him the schedule and that he kind of like helped out and worked for, even she didn't work in the office. She worked at home too. So they basically decided they needed somebody in house full time in the office, but there was no warning saying, Hey, you know, just so you know, we're going to start looking for a person, you know, just so you can be prepared. There was no, Hey, we've already hired somebody. We don't need you anymore. Like a week, you know, this will be your last week. Nothing. Basically he came in 
almost, you know, not like in because he's not going anywhere, but basically he went in to do his job Friday and found out that exact same moment that, oh, we don't need you anymore. And it was like, seriously, like, that's what you do. Like, we've gone above and beyond. You know, we're just, we're really good work ethic kind of people, especially my husband. He's just like the little worker bee, you know, that's just what he likes to do and keep busy and stuff like that. So it was like, are you serious? Like, that's just it. No, no warning. No, hey, you know, I know you have a family to take care of and stuff, but, you know, so long see ya for your job. Um, so anyways, as you guys know, I suffer um, with depression. You know, I've been open and honest about it. And, you know, I have my higher and lower days, but I, I have not... Since suffering with it more um, these days, um, I don't do well <laughs> with surprise things like that. Like instantly the, the mom instinct kicks in and everything else. Like, you know, it's soon to be my daughter's birthday and, um, you know, I'm not working. What are we going to do? Like that's a giant chunk of money. We won't be homeless because my husband's job job pays our bills. But we're like talking about like in the house, no extras, no fun no nothing so instantly of course everything in me just wants to like run away and hide and die kind of thing um i'm going to set my makeup with the nars uh finishing powder so um needless to say i basically like had you know full-blown panic attack and luckily my husband is the opposite of me um he's very much like the calm like you know, there's a reason for everything. Like, I know I'm a Christian and stuff, but me and God have talks all the time about how, you know, it's just hard. You know, things get thrown at you and, you know, you know you're going to pull through. You know there's a reason. You know that, you know, you may not understand the answer now, but it's there kind of thing. But in the moment, it's really hard to remember that. So my husband is much better about that than I am. And... Anyways, so needless to say, I spent a lot the whole weekend, um, the way I deal with stress, sadly, as you could probably tell, is I eat. So I spent the whole weekend not caring about what I was eating, um, like crying on and off and just being like, you know, down and just really stressed but not sure what to do kind of thing. I'm going to um, prime my eyes with the Milani um, eye primer. Or, sorry, this one is this. <laughs> they look the same. Um, I'm going to try the Smashbox 24-Hour Eye Primer. I haven't tried this one yet. Um, so, anyways, and then, of course, on me, you know, my husband's like, don't worry, I'll go get another job. But it's like, seriously, like, Kristen, you can't keep making your husband do all these things and not go to work. So, instantly, I feel this terrible, just, you know gosh, I'm such a crappy person, you know, like, my husband has to do this, this, and this, and I'm sitting around, you know, doing nothing. Not that I'm not doing nothing, but, you know, I'm not getting paid for what I'm doing. So, um, anyway, so, you know, my husband, of course, is the total opposite, and is like, no, you know, you, this is what you were doing, you're helpful here, you know, I need you to do this, this, and this, and, you know, don't worry about it, don't stress about it, like, that's just the kind of person he is. I'm going to go ahead now and do my eyes with the Laura Geller um, Jewels palette, uh, Book of Jewels, sorry. This one is the Ambers. Um, so, you know, of course, he's like, you know, the optimistic positive one, and you're like, oh, just shut up. Can't you just be mad and upset and worry just a little bit? And of course he is, you know, but he's trying to be strong and, you know, be the good husband and, you know take care of everything kind of thing and you know I love him so much for it and I appreciate all that he does it's just like in that moment it's like you don't want to be happy right now you don't want to not stress and think oh everything's going to be okay you know don't worry just you know sit back and everything's going to be okay even though you know that it's just like in that moment you're just like oh my gosh like do I need to go like work at McDonald's right now <laughs> like what are we going to do so um so anyways, after, you know, a lot of talking and stuff, um, I had already been kind of talking to um, our landlord here about possibly doing some work for him um, just to get extra money for makeup purchases, actually. Um, and it, it it hadn't gotten itself worked out completely yet, so I kind of, you know, 
fast forwarded that and then you know I spent the next um, week or a couple days uh, applying to stuff so I didn't really have time you know to sit down and make a video but like I said you know I didn't really look my best and I wasn't really chippery you know and I don't want to come on here and want you guys to watch me when I look like I'd rather be doing anything else you know it's just not fair to you guys either and I appreciate you all so much for realizing that, you know, this is my hobby and this is something I love to do. And I would love to, you know, be one of the big people one day, maybe, you know, but I also am a mom and a wife and a family and a person that, you know, struggles with things. So I really appreciate the ones that, you know, really just said, you know, take care of your family. YouTube can wait. No big deal. I really, really, really appreciate that. You have no idea how much it means to me to hear you guys say that because it was just so much of a relief, like I'm not letting you down kind of thing. So anyways, um, so I fast forwarded and got my landlord to, to kind of commit to giving me a job a little bit. You know, it's not a lot of anything um, by any means it's just a couple days a week you know doing like accounting stuff and things like that which is um, my background and um, like kind of like per personal secretary kind of things so of course I'm so grateful for that because even though it's like this week I only worked you know three days so because of my schedule and my kids I can't really work you know, a full day because then I'd just be paying for childcare. And we don't really have a lot of relatives that are close to um, babysit. And we're just not those kind of people. Not that there's anything wrong with the people who do, but I just, I have such terrible feelings about leaving my kids with people I don't know. Like, that's just who I am. And like I said, nothing to anybody out there who does it. Nothing to anybody out there who babysits other people's kids. Like, I love kids. I love to babysit. If anybody wants to send me their children, please do. I love it. But it's just not for my kids, you know? And and it's just my sanity. <laughs> um. So anyway, so I worked like, you know, only like I said, 12 hours this week. And so it's like, you know, that's not a lot of money by any means. It's not going to fix us because, you know, we got, he was working um, 20 hours a week, but, you know, it was consistent. It's a normal paycheck. You get used to it. And then to just like not have it was like, oh my gosh, you know, what are we going to do kind of thing. Um, but anyway, so, um, so I'm doing that and, you know, I'm still looking and trying to do other things as well that are, you know, part time to just help us to bring in some money and, you know, especially just like, you know, I have young kids, you know, and we don't have a backyard um, and, you know, there's parks and things to do, but it's really hard to, you know, keep families entertained without, you know, having money to do something and it's really hard to have this and you know not buy makeup when it comes out and it's like of course all the companies want to all come out with it all at the same time you know so you're stuck like gosh dude I want this I want this what do I do and you know and luckily like I said I have a very very supportive husband who you know has been figuring it out so that I could still try to get some makeup to um, keep showing you guys and um, you know to keep up on um, doing YouTube and stuff like that. Like, you know, don't get me wrong. We're not, you know, eating macaroni and cheese and top of ramen. It's just, you know, it's a lifestyle change. You lose that much money, you know, you're going to change your lifestyle. You know, I'm not homeless by any means. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just a paranoid person who kind of freaks out at things like that. You know, it's just, it's, it's a change and it's definitely not a good one. But anyway, so, um, we are still, you know, looking for more things for me to do possibly and things like that of that nature. And hopefully, you know, if something comes along, you know, it'll work out. Um, but anyways, so that's what's been going on. Um, you know, I'm dealing with it, struggling with it, all of the above. But, you know, I love you guys, and I love being on here with you guys, and I love talking to you guys. Like, you have no idea. It's almost like, 
you know, it really does feel like it's just like an extended friendship kind of thing. You know, I know that I don't know you personally and I know that I can't see you when I'm talking to you right now, but you know, it's kind of my way of doing it. So anyways, as you know, everybody deals with things differently. You know, everybody has different things in their family that go on and I understand, you know, obviously things could definitely be worse. I realize, you know, I'm not naive. I know we're not the worst family that's, you know, struggling with things right now. It's just, it's how, it, it's just, it's hard to process things when you have depression. And if you have depression, you understand what I mean. It's just, it's like the smallest thing just feels like the weight of the world just fell on top of you. And it's silly. I know when I say it out loud, I understand it, you know, but it's like in the moment you can't really control it and stop it. And <laughs> no matter what your head is telling you, it just, it doesn't work that way, you know? So anyways, um, so that's my long story. I appreciate you guys sticking with me. I really do. Um, it means the world to me. And I just, I really appreciate it, you know, and I really appreciate your understanding. Um, so anyways, I really do like these shadows, you guys. Um, you know, I don't, I don't think they're necessarily like, like a Lorac or something, but I think these are really good. You know, they're kind of hard to get at. So, you know, when your brush is in there and everything, I can't say, you know, it's the easiest thing to get at. But definitely very pigmented, very soft and smooth. Um, the baked always seems to kind of have just that rougher feel to it, you know what I mean? But um, I like the look that it came up with and, you know, I'm happy with it. So, anywho... Um, how have you guys been? I would, I love chatting with you guys. I really do. If you don't follow me on, um, Instagram and stuff, I really try to get on there as much as possible. Um, but, um, definitely, you know, chat with me, leave me a message. Some days I don't post things just because, um, maybe I didn't like see anything makeup wise or, you know, as you know, I try to keep my children and my husband out of um YouTube nothing against you guys or that they're I'm too good for it kind of thing it's just more of a personal security preference you know like I said I am really protective of my kids and my family and stuff and you know maybe one day that'll change but just for right now you know it's hard for me to do something like that so just understand that you know I might not <laughs> I may not be posting the cute kid pictures and stuff like that, but they're here. Anyways, so I would love to know what, how you guys have been, what's been going on. Um, I, like I said, I really do love chatting with you guys. It's like I feel like I've made a bunch of new friends on here, and um, I love you guys too. So um, I'm going to use some uh, NARS, NARS, seriously, Kristen, Tarte Amazonian Clay Blushes. Um, this is just part of like one of the little kits that came out with um, the holidays, like the little, the little minier size ones. Really cute packaging, love them. Really pink and pretty, 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 pretty. Um, so yes, so that's how my day has been. Um, I am going to, um, you know, get back to normal, do some videos. You know, I just like I said, I was working the beginning of this week and, you know, getting used to doing that and running around and catching up with errands and all the fun mommy stuff. Um, anyways, <laughs> um, but yeah, so let me, let me know, um, if you guys have something specific you want to see. Um, my collection is coming. It's working. Promise. Um, Okay, so now I'm just gonna slap on some eyeliner really quick. I know you're not supposed to pull it. You don't have to let me know down below. I know, but it's one of those things where I blink too much if it's not, and then I mess it up, and then I get mad because it messes up the eye look, and so on and so forth. <laughs> so it works better for me to blink. Uh, or to hold it down so that I don't blink. I know that I can just like, you know, pull the pencil away and blink obviously, but 
it's like the blink comes before I really think about it. So anyways, um, I'm just going to put it on like the outer corner. Um, not really drag it all the way through, just really lightly like touching it, kind of just to, ooh, just to kind of get it on the bottom there. And then we're going to put on some mask. I've really um, been liking this It Cosmetics one. So um, I do have a couple of mascara reviews coming for you guys because I know obviously that's what my name is and stuff. And I have sadly way too many mascaras you'll see in my collection. But it's one of those things where I really like to try it for a while and give it different chances. You know, like, I don't know, mascara is one of those things where it's very, very personal. But like, there will be something like yesterday I tried um the I think it's the Hypnostar from Lancome. I'm not positive. Um I'll let you know in the review when it comes. But um anyway, so I love the way it applied. I love my lashes. I was like, oh my gosh, it looks so great. I'm loving this. Yay! And then the end of the day started to come, you know, and you um I didn't have any uh, eyeshadow on and I was like rubbing my eyes because um, as you know I've been sick and dealing with like sinus stuff and everything so I rubbed my eye a little bit and then I went to the bathroom later and I was looking at my eye and I was like oh my gosh like there was basically my whole eyelashes had flaked off onto under my eye and my cheek like all the mascara was just like flaked off and you know you may not wear your mascara like that you know and you're probably not going to touch your eye because you know you probably have eyeshadow on and stuff but like I'm a big believer that even though I don't wear makeup every day like I like to wear mascara at least because to me it just makes your eyes open I've said this before it just makes you look more alive you know you don't look so like oh you feeling okay <laughs> you know what I mean so um anyways I can't do this smaller part without a mirror sorry and um so I was kind of disappointed but I have really enjoyed this it cosmetics one this is really nice I like this one so anyways so that's me that's what's been going on so I am working part-time now and I'm still going to be bringing you guys videos. I love you all so much for the love that you showed me and my family and your understanding for my hot messness lately. <laughs> um, I'm going to use the It Cosmetics uh, da, 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 YLB, Your Lips But Better, your uh, waterproof lip liner stain. And this one is pretty in pink. Um... Just kind of messily putting it on to get around the lips a little bit. So camera overheated on me, sorry about that. So this is the look I came up with. I just finished filling in the lips just because I'm gonna put on this um, Butter London uh, A6 Kiss, Axis Kiss, Axis, A-X-I-S Kiss. Um, and it's kind of a little bit more sheer, so I just wanted something to um, kind of have underneath it. Uh, it's not that it's like sheer sheer, it's that it's like, it's a, it's a bomb, so it's a little bit more see-through. So I thought it would be good with this look too bright maybe maybe not let me swatch it again for you guys so see what I mean like it has color but it's just a little bit like sheer toned it's not like woo there's color so this is the look thank you for chit chatting with me you guys thank you again for your support and your love and I will see you guys in my next video if you're not subscribed please subscribe down below so you don't miss any future videos bye guys